Hey there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to work with auto relief options. Let's begin by activating the edge flange tool. First, I'll select an edge to flange right here. And the second left click sets the length of the edge flange. Let's go down into the property manager and uncheck the offset option. Now let's click edit flange profile. Basically now we're in the sketch environment. Let's grab this line and move it. And now let's dimension it. 12 millimeters is fine. Okay. And let's make this distance 15 millimeters. Okay. At this point, if I click back, I'll go back to the property manager. If I click finish, that'll close the property manager and create the feature. As you see, SolidWorks has created the flange using the tier type of relief. And relief is necessary for the machining process in order for the bend area to form correctly. Let's take a minute to figure out where these relief options come from. We're going to edit our sheet metal feature, so right click on sheet metal 1 in the design tree and select edit feature. Here's our property manager. At the bottom is the auto relief control area. We check to enable it, and from this drop down menu, we've got three options rectangular, tier, and aub round. Let's experiment with each. Let's try rectangular first. Beneath, we can set up what's called a relief ratio, and that's a ratio that's related to the thickness of the sheet metal. With a numeric setting of 0.5, my auto relief will be half of my thickness. Now, when we make changes in this property manager, we're basically specifying the auto relief settings for the entire sheet metal part. Let's click OK. And let's take a look at our work. We'll bring up the measure tool so we can see what we've done. I'll select this edge first. So you'll remember the thickness of my part was one millimeter and my ratio was 0.5. As expected, we've got a 0.5 millimeter distance here. Let's check another edge. Same thing, 0.5 millimeters. Let's close. Let's right click on sheet metal one and select edit feature. Now I'll change the ratio. One, so we've got one to one ratio. Click OK. As you see, the cut is visibly bigger now. And as expected, this distance will be one millimeter. As well as this distance here, also one millimeter. Let's edit our sheet metal part again and take a look at the aub round relief type. I'll leave our ratio setting at one and just click OK. Now let's bring up the measure tool. So here's what the aub round shape looks like. Again, one millimeter is the length of this edge as we expected. The distance between these two points is also one millimeter. And this concludes our video about auto relief options. We'll see you back in our next video for a discussion of custom relief options.